Michelle Obama showcased her work during the 2008 presidential race. But Glamour alone couldn't help Pinto when the recession hit. It was tough, but she is stitching together a comeback, as I learned when I visited her in Chicago. This is why I don't have children, because every day I would have a different favorite. Browsing through a rack of designs in her Chicago loft apartment, it's easy to see why Maria Pinto calls her style an evolution. Back in 2008, Pinto was the mastermind behind Michelle Obama's effortless look. On the night Barack Obama became a presidential nominee, she wore a purple sheath. For Pinto, it was an instant bump in sales. But it was this red dress, worn on her first visit to the White House after the election, that put Pinto in demand. You had Oprah, you had Brooke Shields. Mm -hmm. Who all was wearing your clothing? Marsha K. Harden, um, Sharon Stone has worn pieces. At the height of Maria Pinto, how big were you? How big was I? I'm only 5'3". <laughs> But in 2010, as the economy started to unravel, so did her company. When did you know this wasn't going to work? It was kind of like, you know, a combustion of things happening, and um, I realized it was best to take a break. Fashion editor Robin Gavon. You're not going to build a fashion company by selling your clothes to celebrities and high-profile consumers alone. I mean, the reality is that you know, most of the clothes that we see on celebrities, they haven't, in fact, purchased. Now, Pinto is back, reinventing herself. She designed 13 ready-to-wear pieces and six weeks ago put them on website Kickstarter, hoping to raise money for her new company. Kickstarter, basically, you're pre-ordering. It just gives the company the, the launch, launch pad. How much money did you want to raise? Our goal was 250000 And what you got? Uh, two, 270 one, more or less. With Kickstarter is, if you don't reach the goal, you get nothing. Even with the money, Pinto is proceeding cautiously. She is working out of her Chicago loft and aiming for a different tier of shopper. I want to keep the brand, M2057, where dresses will be like 250 to 350. When you were Maria Pinto, what was the average price of dresses? 900 and up. In the next three months, Pinto plans to use the Kickstarter money to sell the line across the country. This here, it becomes a design detail. The 56-year-old designer says that at the height of her success, she never could have imagined going under. But now, she says she couldn't have designed a better journey back. Do I want to make something great out of it, or do I want to just um, focus on the past and be disappointed? I don't feel disappointed at all. I'm the happiest I've ever been. It sounds like to you. Interestingly, she told me, you know, she didn't do a lot of press when she was the designer for, for the first lady. And right. she says she has no regrets. She says her whole career has been organic right. and she would not change anything. And now, so she's now selling dresses actually on Kickstarter. That's no, interesting. No, so basically she'll take the money to right. now produce these okay. dresses. It was all fictitious sales. It had to get the money. She hit the number and now she'll get the money. Very interesting.